Hey there, and welcome to a uh, quick uh, tutorial on how to call the uh, stop loss uh, levels from the zero lag oscillator in uh, Blackbird from uh, Shark Indicators. So we'll uh, just go straight into a chart here. And what I've uh, done is uh, just to create a really simple uh, template here, just calling the different zero lag uh, oscillator signals. And uh, you can do that by using a uh, indicator comparison solver. So you compare the zero lag oscillator, different data series here. So we have the signals in this node defined to long key retracement signal and short key retracement signal. And then we compare that to a fixed value. So uh, you have positive values uh, when the long and the short signals fire and then we've uh, just copied that into the secondary retracement signal and the momentum signal and uh, tied that together here into the result using the uh, or logic node and um, that way we uh, display all the uh, signals that uh, the indicator uh, has uh, created for us and uh, now what we'll do is to use uh, blackbird to manage the trades so uh, you just go in here to the order settings and uh, use the blowdown signal to call the logic. And so we'll uh, just use this uh, simple logic, pull that in here, zero lag oscillator signals that I just showed you. I uh, didn't really name this, so it's just a new logic. And then uh, we set that to uh, market entries for the uh, confirmed signals. Profit target, we can just use a two times ATR for this example. And for calling the stop levels, we're going to use the custom option here. And uh, we'll go into the mode that we're using here and define that as an indicator value. And then we see here the zero lag oscillator and you scroll down and you find the long sell and the short buy um, stop orders towards the bottom of the uh, data series that are available to you. So you choose those and that is uh, pretty much it. And then you uh, hit uh, OK and we uh, refresh this to see that this is uh, working as expected. I'm going to do some calculating. Uh, we see we have a uh, order running here. Uh, but if we look at the historical trades, uh, we can have a look at, uh, at this one here. Uh, we see that we had a uh, retracement signal. And then it is looking for the value, the highest uh, value from the signal. And the setup uh, looking two bars back. So it's basically a two bar stop. And we see that was hit here. Compare that with this one. And we see that that is correct. Uh, another momentum signal here. We see that the preceding bar here was also the highest of these two. And so it's taking that as a uh, level for defining the stop. And uh, so you can also uh, work with a offset uh for this and so uh you can go in here and uh say initial placement and then uh, we can add a offset for the long signals of two ticks so you don't use the exact high and low of uh, the setup or the signal bars as a definition and we'll see that these uh, levels now slightly have changed. And so if we go back to this first example here, uh, we now see that this offset is two ticks above this uh, high here. So uh, that pretty much explains uh, how to work with the long stop and short stop orders. Uh, for this year lag oscillator with the uh, Blackbird from Shark Indicators. I hope this uh, has uh, helped explaining uh, that uh, data series. 
If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, reach out to me via the contact form at uh, lizardindicators.com. Happy to hear from you and uh, look forward to help in any way that I can further. Take care and bye-bye.